What's up guys, this is Alfonso from Bailey's Custom Shirts. Um, we'll show you guys a lot about sublimation and embroidery um, right in my business. And I want to share with you guys how to create an uh, all over t-shirt template. Very simple to do in Adobe Photoshop. Um, but I want to kind of walk you guys through um, something that's very simple. So, I'm using Adobe Photoshop CC. You could use other programs to create it, but I'm going to use this one. Um, I'll show you how I create it, then um, I'll show you how to convert it into a PDF file. Right now, it's in a PDF file format. Okay, so if I turn it off, it's back on. So it's all in one piece. But we need the inside area to be transparent so we can be able to add information in there, pictures, text, and etc. Right now, we can't add anything on it because it's basically like a blank, it's, it's a PDF file. So we want to separate it. To do that, you would go over here and right under the selection tool here, we'll select the magic wand, right click in the third selection, you will see magic wand tool or press W on your keyboard, okay? So first, you definitely want to select the layer first to make sure it's active. Control P to zoom in, and we want to remove the inside. So it's going to select the inside area of the PDF file. And we're going to press delete to delete that particular part of the PDF file. Now it's transparent. You see the marching ants around the edge of the artwork here, well the template. We're going to hold control, press D on the keyboard to get rid of it. Now, we're not there yet because we click on this, it's not transparent, it's not covering the inside. So how do we do that? So let's go. So we're going to click on this here and then we're going to right click and we're gonna, so you click on the layer, right click the layer, create a clipping mass. Now, let's zoom out and kind of see. So the mass is in behind it. We want it on top. No, sorry, we want it behind because of the PDF file that we created. So to do that, we want the t-shirt on top so we're gonna you could name it here we can say template keep on and then we're gonna drag it downward and now it covers the inside of it to give you the 3D all over print alright now if we zoom in we want to get rid of these red lines here. So we're going to select, make sure the layer is active. We're going to select the red here, okay? And we're going to press D on the keyboard to get rid of it. It goes away, control D to deselect. Control minus to zoom out. All right, so that's how we create an all over t-shirt or template for your all over printing. Okay, so you could just lock this layer because you don't really want to mess around with it. So we're going to lock this layer and we can always just change this here or we can add information. So we can go to file and then we're going to place. First, let's go ahead and we're going to save this. So we're going to save this. Uh, let's go ahead and save it. Uh, we're going to save it as... all over t-shirt template. All right, we'll say medium, YouTube. Okay, so we're gonna save it, and we're gonna save it on the under downloads. All right, so we're gonna save this file, okay? Now, it's saved now. So let's double click this here, or we can right click and which I'm going to teach you that later, something I 
I learned using smart objects so you can right click uh, let's see I believe it's already a smart object it is so let's double click on it and if we open up a new layer and we go to file we're gonna place an image in here and let's see if it allows us to replace this background image so press enter to lock it in to secure it in all right now it's considered a smart object so we're gonna uncheck this one here and then we're gonna select exit or close up here and then save changes to the Adobe Photoshop document R so we're gonna select yes should allow us uh, let's go to downloads okay we want to replace it all right so it didn't work I figured it wouldn't work but that's okay I'll sh show you guys how to do that but I wanted to show you guys how to create a template um, so as you guys can see let's move that it's very easy let's just use the regular layers to place the information and I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as creating a template and why this is important it's save you so much time and look at that you can add your information in it press enter okay um, it's loading uh, let's try to add some text see how it's gonna look so we got that here let's make it a little wider alright or actually what we could do we're going to remove the background really quick so it looks a lot better. That doesn't look too good. So we're going to go ahead and um, remove the background. Alright, so I'm going to remove the background. Then I'm going to replace it with the transparent background. So I'm going to remove this here. So we're going to remove that, okay, we can drag it to the trash bin, open up a new layer, and now we're going to drag our new photo here, okay, press enter, and as you can see we can move it around the template now to create our all over 3D t-shirt. It's pretty cool, right? So. That's how you do that, guys. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, and we'll do um, another tutorial to kind of show you how to make it. Uh, doesn't really take that long. About 10 minutes to actually make this template. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.